So, shall um, I do the honors now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this year, once again, the M1s have never, never failed to surprise us. And this year, I actually really love the plot, you know? So, actually, the plot starts off in a funeral. Funeral? I, I don't know why it's a funeral, but yeah, yeah they mm -hmm. started in a funeral this year. Funeral. Mm -hmm. I think maybe we are not the best people to like, you know, open the M1 playhouse itself, right? So why don't we invite on stage the producer and the director of the M1 playhouse? Can we invite Elvin and Gordon, please? Up on stage. Elvin, Gordon. Come, come. Okay, so uh, Elvin and Gordon, we're just going to ask you a few questions. Wait, 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 wait. Can you please tell me what is this? Oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, is there like a about... story behind this injury? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, I was supposed to go to Cambodia on an OCIP, but yeah. Alvin here decided that he needed me here, so he paid someone to break my arm. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah, that's dedication right there. That's real dedication. <laughs> that's real dedication. Real dedication, man. Alvin. Okay, but, but let's just do a bit of formality. So, can you tell me more about your play? Okay, well, our play is basically about the life and times of a woman named Anna and her five quirky roommates. If I tell you guys any more, I'm probably going to spoil the play for, for all of you, so you guys just have to watch and find out. Uh. Interesting. Uh, Alvin, can I ask you one more question? Uh, like, you know, year one, you have like two exams to prepare for, it must be a very stressful time, you in med school, so how do you guys manage, you know? Yeah, I think like this whole play is put together by the by everybody's effort um, backstage now. Like they all made sacrifices and also um, we actually stopped rehearsals like one week before the exam. So I really have to thank everyone backstage for all their commitment to this play. Yeah. Okay guys, we shall not wait any longer. Without further ado, presenting to you guys the M1 okay. Playhouse. Enjoy!
talking to you now, and this is like all so weird, but oh wait, <laughs> I forgot to tell you that I'm Zoe. So anyway, Jenny Betty, what I wanted to say is like, um, I'm so glad you're dead right now. Oh wait, that came out wrong. <laughs> Yes, Jensen! So 
go try and find him. That can be easily arranged for, hey, believe me. Please. Look, at the rate Bob's going, he's going to be with Jensen in no time. Speaking of which, I wonder who's going to take the apartment next door. Now, we read through extra handbooks. The newspaper says that there's an escape convict on the loose. Why did you rent the apartment next, next door? Don't be ridiculous. The newspaper says the escape convict is loose in Mexico. Get real. He's had the entire day to get here. Seriously, do you? Don't honestly? worry, Pat. I'm sure the landlord like reads the newspaper and will be extremely careful. Oh my God. Let it go, you know how she is. Anyway, I'm like dying to know what the new tenant's gonna be like. Is he hot, or rich, or both? Actually, I do know who the new tenant is. Who? His name is you. I'm not sure where he's from. But he's moving in tonight. Oh God, even, even his, his, his name sounds like a disease. Leukemia. I can't even say him here. Can you please stop being so ridiculous? What is the like he would that escape you criminal. Like him. When? When? What's he like? I bet he's dreamy. You gotta introduce me to him. I bet we'll hit it off just in that Luke and Zoe. Oh, I have such a nice big to it. Zoe with leukemia. That's what he's so to me. Zoe, you get to meet him yourself. He's coming tonight and he'll be landing how to kill us. I am giving you very bad. Why 
that that was police. They will be sending a they will be sending a paramedic team over shortly to declare the time of death. Did did, did, I, did I not say something bad would happen? How do you come out with all of this ridiculous nonsense? That doesn't even make any sense to you. It's obvious. It, it's his arrival was too tiny, too tiny. Look at what he's done to us. Are you even jarring yourself? I do. do. Do you hear? Do you hear me? Unfortunately, yes. Look, if you want to sit there and pass Langer's comments for the rest of your life, that's fine by me. But can you try? Please just try to be useful for once and help sort out the fiasco. Trisha, will you please just stop? Tell him to, to stop and tell him to go away. And now she's never gonna let it go. So I say we shoot her. I say we shoot him too.
She needs professional help. She needs to see a shrink.
But what matter is this? But by the time it is wears, it, it would have claimed all of us. Why, why can't all of you see that this is not life? This is not each other. No, 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 no. Ah, I know this all too well. One of us is next to go. Don't all of you. This is a load of rubbish. All of this. Anna being over emotional for nothing. Patricia flying off the handle. Logic clearly explains all of this. The probability of their deaths happening one after another is, is low, yes, I'll admit that. But the probability still exists. And it, it just happened. All this talk about someone dying next. Does anyone who should go? It's Patricia. No, I'm serious. That win time to hold up in life. It's better off dead. Now, I, I'm not saying that I want her to die. No, definitely not. It's just. If her theories are true, then she ought to be the one to go next. Don't all of you agree? Maybe you're just looking too hard into things. For what? I'm going to say what Patricia usually says. I can't take this anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to go for a walk, clear my head. Everyone is gone except for, for the two. 
everyone, stay home. We're looking to you. Thank you very much everyone guys, you did 